hey 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 come on in velmi cherries here you guys um I, as promised i have all these new products here um you should probably have seen the haul by now and we're coming to play with some of these products from the haul and also previous haul that i have not gotten to use here in front of you guys um I do have a um, couple of other oldie but goodie products I'm putting in together because um, I was missing out these type of products from the hauls. However, we have, we're coming from Ulta, uh, what you call it, TJ Maxx and Marshalls grabs and stuff. So to create a nice fall look, that's what I'm going or attempt to do today. We have the Cara Beauty uh fall palette we gonna use today although i'm skipping all the other previous palettes that i have to create looks with but this one excites me for the fall we're gonna use that and we're gonna um use on the face oh the fenty stick the new fenty stick um is drop foundation or whatever it is is it a foundation yeah that and um, our new Juvia's Place um, bronzer, couple of grabs for the lips from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, these MAC um, lippies, and these concealers we grabbed way back from um, also TJ Maxx and Marshalls from of Morphe. Yeah of morphe we're gonna go ahead and put these and see how they go i'm comparing the stick um the new stick product with the regular original eavesdrops from fenty and also the their powder so we have quite a few stuff and a couple let's get down to it i have nothing on the face surprisingly but I don't know why I just came in with nothing on the face. I'm not going anywhere. So what I'm just going to slap on the face is my for moisture or heavy moisture. We're going to go ahead and put the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is an oldie. Um, been using it. Almost done. I normally use this at night. Oh, that's too much. And that should be good enough for um, like something for the foundation to grip onto as a primer. But because it's thick. However, I'm still gonna use my Elf Power Grip primer we are almost out of this thing i haven't been grabbing it lately but she's just been staring at me let's just put a little bit of that on the t-zone you're probably seeing this whole view on this video different from how i've been um filming I'm trying this I just noticed this on the on my um, phone it's like cine, cinematic um, setting I'm having right now so let me know if this is better from what I've had before and I like the fact that it also already has the um, blurring effect blend into this setting so that's a good thing let me know so we're all tacky and ready to go. Um, the stick we have in the shade 21 blurs even complexion, light to light coverage, and a smooth glide stick. Okay, and um originally we had uh this as our is drop. And I think I'm having issue focusing this with this new setting. So this is what we know. Um, and I normally, I have had this in the shade. What's the shade? 
21 as well. Let's look at them side by side. This is the stick, right? Okay, and when I blend that over, it melted into my skin. And this is the original. Oh. This is the original. It's much cooler than the stick. However, they both match me. Imagine if I do a side-by-side -side of each. Should I do that? Let's do that. A side-by-side -side with the stick and the original eavesdrop. I never really do side-by-side -side -side here, but it's worth trying because I'm baffled because I didn't expect um, it would be the same number. So we have that. We're gonna use our new brush here from uh, Morphe L100. We're gonna blend that on the skin. Y'all see the match? Listen, I don't know what took me so long to get this blur stick situation, but I like what I see. We are already done. I do have some blemishes on the side here. Let me build it up a little bit. Perfect match. Perfect match. So this is what we are looking like with the um, stick. I have not used this in a while. So let's add that on this side. Definitely much cooler than the stick, but still matches me. Let me use a similar brush. I'm gonna use my original uh, Morphe E63, same shape and everything. Oh no, I'm confused I definitely do see a little blurring effect more on the stick side than the ease drop side let me add some more and more coverage with the stick side for some reason do y'all see I put quite a few of the let me build let me just okay and I'm using a brush, so it's not like it's taking in too much of the um, foundation. Let me put a little bit down here for my blemishes. Okay. I feel like the blur stick covers my blemishes even more than the regular ease drop let me just see okay you clearly can see that i don't have much on this but i do have something happening over here it's more blurring and it's yo what do you guys think? I feel like I'm using too much of this already. Shades are not much different from each other. However, the finishing is drastically different. This looks like I have some type of moisture, like a tinted moisturizer on comparing to this. This does create a different finish. Compare, and this has a little more glow. This looks more like my skin than this one. But I like this better. <laughs> you guys, let's see a close up. Yeah. 
yeah this is definitely um more natural we don't have that whole blurring situation happening like we have on this side but if you ask me this is like an upgrade of the eavesdrop and a better version but that don't mean this does not have its own its purpose because i could clearly use this like an everyday type of throw on skin tint and this one with a little oomph to it to look a little bit more glamorous but i like the both of them on the face does not feel different but it looks different it definitely looks different i'm gonna put the blurring stick on this side where i have much much texture on both sides and um we're done comparing the two the spotlight is on the blur stick definitely i'm putting that on my textured area to give me more of a blurring effect perhaps a little bit on my forehead because y'all clearly see the difference here and i clearly see what I could get from both products. How do they go? Yeah. I like the blurring situation happening. Okay. That's that. I'm going to leave the rest of the face. I'm not going to gonna build up the stick on that side. Because I'm sure with concealer and everything. It's going to look exactly the same. So we did that. We're gonna go ahead and use these um, concealers. These are nothing new, new, but we grabbed them from the past for the Lolo from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They, I'm, su I'm assuming they both have different finish. I don't have the casing for, for them anymore. Maybe one of them I do. This is the Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer in the shade Deep 32. And this one, I'm not sure what, what it was called, but it just says Morphe on there. We're going to blend the two. One of them is more my skin tone, and the other one is for a uh, highlight. Is it my skin tone? Oh, it's deeper. It's deeper. It's a lot deeper in red. Let's skip out. Let me just put a tinsy bit. Yeah, it's definitely a lot redder than I expected. Let's just put a tinsy bit. A tinsy bit. I'm most likely probably gonna fall back on another concealer for the whole face if the other one is too light. Let's try this one. I did not notice the... um okay this is fine it's a it's light it's light but let's just mix the two why don't we just mix the two so i can have a much um skin like finish on the other end the other part and still use that as the accent shade I'm going to use that mixture to carve out my my eyebrow. Not sure about the finishing of them. Let's just blend it out because I know Morphe is more of a full matte situation. I don't want it to set in place for so long. It looks crazy. like the finishing I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush um, a flat head with the remaining of what I have on the back of my hand it's not much just to clean my brow I 
that's flawless. Gorgeous. Going in with the foundation brush around that to blend. So we did that we can definitely use a little bit more well we'll just use uh blush and everything to for the rest i like the finishing of these concealers very much i'm definitely gonna try to get a lighter shade if i come across this again this is the 34 cool it's too red for me um, but mixing the two works perfectly fine. I like it. And nothing is sticking out too much. Concealer is nice and, you know, like a natural finish. Because the base product is much lighter than a full foundation. It kind of balances things out. It's not overpowering on the light weight of the foundation or the stick. So hopefully that it all oh, that mouth will make sense. But moving on to our bronzer, this time we're gonna use and Coco from Juvia's Place. Come on, yes, there we go. Um, we did use Ember last time, and I did want to get go back for Coco, which we did. This is the shade. It I believe Coco is much warmer. No cooler than ember we're gonna use this l101 this is a set that i grabbed from tj maxx you probably come across it i'm just demoing it so you guys see how they feel or how they you know perform on the skin this is supposed to be a contour um brush that's what the packaging says However, I would normally use a brush like this for blush. Either way, you could use it because it does have that angle um, to it to really get where you need. But I don't like using these type of brushes as a contour because it's too flimsy. It's not stiff enough for me. But listen, the pros created and they know what they're doing. See how flimsy it is? It's not stiff and sturdy like I would like, but that could also help to diffuse the product as you're placing it. This is Coco on me. I think I'm going too heavy with the product. Let me just... Also very, very light blends beautifully um we're gonna mix it with the foundation brush again i don't know if i'm gonna use any any um yeah, this is too too light and there's also this little angle thing angle brush as well for um does it say concealing nose detail contouring um which is perfect just what i need we're gonna use that perhaps diffuse it on the back of our hand because we don't want to have too much product from that bronzer that's perfect too much on that side. I put too much. Where's my concealer brush? There we go. Stunning. Let's blend it out with the foundation brush. Okay. We're looking cute. 
Alrighty, so we got that out the way. Contour, a bronzer, concealer, stick, kitty stick out the way. We're gonna go ahead and set the face. Do I wanna use any liquid blush? Okay, for the sake of fall, let's put this um, stick from ColourPop, which was also a grab a while back. Did I use it here for you guys? Um, from ColourPop, we found this one. And this is what it looks like. We're going to go with more so of a burgundy-ish type of look on the eye. So let's go ahead and... I'm gonna use that same bronzing brush or contour brush. I'm removing the excess darkness to it and go with this shade lightly on the cheek. Okay, I don't like this brush. It is too, f no, let me go back to my original brush. I, there's still an angle to it, but it's thicker. It's it's more dense, and it packs on the shade much better. The other one is just doing too much, dancing around too much on my face. Okay, so we do that. I don't want to put too much in then. It would be too late after we see the damage and stuff. Let's just diffuse that with our concealer brush. And we're done. We're gonna go into setting the face. Um, for setting, I'm gonna set the whole face with the Fenty um, pore filter powder in the shade Hazelnut. Um, I have not used her in a minute. Our powder brush, I'm gonna use this Zoeva Petite Face Finish 111. Same shade as my regular big one. I mean, same shape, but much smaller. Something, I got a hair somewhere. We're gonna go ahead and saturate like we always do. And set. I forgot this powder has an odor to it. Beautiful. It's not fully mattifying everything. It's leaving a nice fi finish on the face. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that. Um, I'm still gonna, let me go ahead and use that under the eye as well. There's a purpose to it. It's not gonna darken me up or, or anything under the eye because I feel like the powder, the next powder that I'm gonna use under the eye is much brightening or brighter. So let's balance things out a little bit. Um, let me remove any creasing. This brush size is perfect. It fits under the eye. You know, of course it may take a little bit longer for the full face, but it's more detailing. So we're gonna go under the eye with this highlight palette we got from Too Faced. In the shade deep this is an oldie never use it on my end or on this side of town I'm gonna go ahead and use this under the eye to highlight should I use a sponge or a brush I'm gonna use my Sephora brush because that goes right under the eye where I need never use this powder before hopefully whatever light setting we did under the eye can prevent any um any issues it's 
seems like this has a shimmery or luminous finish to it not as bright as i thought it was gonna be there's a little bit of shimmer to it mm, and it does accentuate my texture yikes We're gonna move on. We're gonna melt everything down. Okay, 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 okay. Um, as bronzer, these vibe palettes, right? I got them. I'm so excited. I just might use them for blush and bronzer all together. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the some couple of the shades on here, or even go on with this hairy spray or hairspray shade on the warm palette as my bronzer this shade right here let's see this one mixing with a little bit of the warmer shades let's see how that goes because i love i love what they got going on here let's see this is very cool let me add a little bit of that grotty or grody to it and put some color as we go yeah it's very cool let me gonna i'm mixing it up with the more orangey or pinkish shade i'm doing too much but it is what it is that's why I love my pen sizes on my products because it could be multi. I could use it for more than one stuff. Does it show? This is hairspray. Come on now. This is hairspray. Yes. And I'm mixing it with this. Or perhaps I could just use this one, um, which is grody or grody. <gasps> what the fuck is this? <gasps> oh, a little, you see that part of it got into the black shade. Oh, Lordy Lord. What are we doing here? What are we doing, uh, Rebecca? I wanna scream. I wanna shout. Oh no. Oh no. Right. It's still showing, but but ugh, yo, come on. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. Okay, that same nose contour brush. I'm gonna use these two for the nose. That's too deep. Let's use Grody by itself. Okay, I gotta, I, let me stop, let me stop. This is, I'm doing too much right now. I'm doing a little too much. Um, but I might though, I might really. Let's go into this new wave for our blush careful not to pick up any of that other shade on the sides of it and let's see we'll try to cover that up with the blush that's pretty although i'm using the same brush i use the wet product 
product with it's um not coming out muddy at all no just stamp that on there jesus come on rebecca I'm getting too excited so we do that let's go back with our powder um powder brush or the same setting powder we use right here to diffuse the blush and hopefully hide the texture that this Too Faced highlight powder put on here all right we're looking somewhat decent let's get into the eyes let me set my face i'm gonna use this new grab from morphe this is a matte finish um setting spray oh that's a lot shit that just suck all any type of it just suck any type of light shimmery or why does it look like it has some little grainy white substance to it Two, three, squeeze. I don't know what it's doing, but okay, it, it's not too mad. It's not. We're not too mad, but it has some little speck to it. Um. Okay, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Let's get these out the way and get into the eye look ASAP because maybe we should do that in another video. What do you think? We'll squeeze the eye look on here. It doesn't matter. So this is their um, On The Hunt eyeshadow palette. You know what? Check out the eye look because I really want to take my time with this. I really want to take my time with this. But you guys did get to see the base part of this look with the products that we've been waiting to use. Or I kind of skip the line with these products. Um, not forgetting the other ones, the, for, the previous ones that I do have to use. But here we have it. I got a little excited with the Fenty Stick really wanted to see what that looks like share that with you guys i'm sure you already have it but we have it here on this side of town my shade is shade 21 similar shade range to my original is drop um also shade 21 so i'm not sure what it is like for you guys not having the same shades with you know within these two because the company claimed that they should be the same shade for the stick and the regular liquid one so that's out the way um we're gonna finalize the face and y'all get to see the finished look thank you for sticking through with this full face look we're gonna get the fall fall vibe going in the eye look and um so stay tuned for that okay the eyes fully done we're coming in to finalize the full face using our lippies <clears throat> I did grab me two shades from um, TJ Maxx. Uh, they're the MAC Power Kids Powder Kids Velvet Blur Slim Stick. Um, the shade I want to use, I'm torn between Nutmeg and Ganache. Let me show you guys the swatch for each of them. I'm going to go ahead and line up my lips using my... Where is she at? 
I'm gonna use my um, Morphe Date Night Lip Liner. She needs a sharpen. She needs to be sharpened. Get her going. We overlining a little bit. Okay, so we got that going. The first shade I wanna use, let's go ahead and swatch that one. The Nutmeg Ganache 884. She looks a little. like this is what she looks like let's pop that on applicating the applicator is so perfect for the lip line this is her it has slightly a warm undertone to it, it goes perfectly fine with the lip liner so that's that's her right let's try the other one nutmeg or no over the top All right, I didn't completely remove the outer, outer part of the lining. We're just gonna build that up a little bit. Mm. Over the top might be slightly lighter. But upon swatching, it gives me more of a pinkish undertone. There she is right here. It feels drier though. Or maybe because I just wipe off that moisture. Okay. We're gonna keep over the top. No, wait. Yeah, over the top on the lips with this look. I just need to lightly clean up. Yeah, that's much better with this look. The other one has its own depth to it. I don't want to put too much on the face with this overpowering eye look we got going on. 
So we're just gonna leave her like this and I'm just gonna leave her matte as well. Call it in the day. So this is it. This is the full face with the lips, with the you know eyes done. Check out the eye look on its own standing video. And you already know which palette was used. Y'all just get to see how it performs as I was using it. And um, decide whether you want to grab it when you come across it from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And or go get it on their site. I will put their um, the link to that palette on the both videos. So y'all get to enjoy because that's a banging palette. And I just might do a swatch of that palette. It's been a minute. We have not done a swatch in a minute. So what do you guys think? I'm loving this look. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you you know got this far to see what was done and what the process was. Join the crew. We're gonna keep these videos coming. Um and um check out all these other videos on the side here or even that little button on the middle part here you might see just click onto it if it'll help you most likely subscribe faster and uh, share these videos let your girls out here grow and flourish into the youtube world and thank you in advance see you next time